boat friends, I'm here in Duluth, Minnesota. You can see foggy Lake Superior there in the distance. If you would have told me a few months ago that today in December, I would have been doing a video of a 740 foot ship coming into Duluth in the fog, it would have been pretty hard for me to believe that. But that is really what's going down with this interesting weather that everybody has been having in the winter. You can see Duluth hillside, all fog. So this is actually going to make for a really cool video of a ship. I think all of us enjoy those foggy situations. Might see a ghost ship here in a few moments. But what I'm going to do is start you out with a sneak peek of the vessel. We'll look at marine traffic to see what is happening with the ship and also the weather. And here it is, Algoma conveyor. Good looking superstructure, pretty large. You can see that lifeboat that's propped down. I like that color scheme. Very large boom as well. And here's the weather conditions. As you could see, there was lots of fog out there on Lake Superior. I think it's probably the foggiest day that I've seen in a couple months for sure. You can see the captain's gonna have just under two miles of visibility. Wind chill, 31 degrees. Northeast wind, six miles per hour. And here's where the vessel will be going. The Algoma conveyor is going to come off of Lake Superior. It's going to go right by us here at the area lift bridge, through the harbor basin, under the Blotnick Bridge, and it's going to go unload salt over at Hallett Dock. It's the end of December, and I don't even need my snow boots. This is what I wear when it's raining out. This ship is going to look really cool because it's going to come straight out of that fog, so it's going to almost look like a ghost ship. The better shot of that fog you can see on the hillside there to the left in the city over here right in the center portion of the screen well here's the actual water current for the captain to think about let me zoom in you can see that yellow light that lets the captain know there is a neutral current as the vessel comes right through here in the ship canal Take a look at both of those flagpoles. Not too much going on from a wind standpoint. This might be small, but it's kind of interesting. Take a look at those two bars, keeping that gate up, making it a little stronger. Boat friends, let's go over to South Pier and get another perspective as this ship comes through. Okay, we're over on the South Pier Park Point side now. Boat friends, there's the ghost ship coming straight out of that fog. Give you a quick 360 what's going on got park point beach right there area lift bridge should be going up at any moment and that's where we were at a few minutes ago on north pier boat friends hang in here for a moment i've been trying to gather as much information as i can i just heard over the radio that an emergency vehicle will be going over the lift bridge and it sounds like the captain is going to have to abort the arrival I've never seen something like that happen. I know it does happen, but this is the first time I've documented something like this happening. And now you can see the stern of the vessel heading back out towards the lake, and it's going to come right back at us here in a few moments. Now you can see the vessel is making that loop. You can see the port side now. Here's a better angle of the Algoma I'm turning around right now. Give you some wave action. Well, you can see the red lights blinking there on the lift bridge. I hear the bell and there it goes. Area lift bridge is going to lift to 135 feet to make way for this Algoma vessel. Got a person that's gonna go out and do some fishing. You can see the Algoma right there making that turn. Take a look at the people that showed up on the North Pier today. There's the Maritime Museum. Got a few standing up there on the top. You can still see that fog out there. I also want you to notice that the wind has picked up a little bit. Uh, you have a happy dog going for a walk on the beach. I always love standing next to this inner light right on the South Pier. Another reason why I'm really excited is because as this vessel makes its way through the piers. This is the first time I've ever 
laid eyes on it, or recorded this ship. I'm going to leave it right here so you can watch the ship and some people on both piers. But I can tell this is going to be a cool ship. Look at that steam. Here's some details about the vessel. Algoma conveyor, 740 feet in length, built in 2018. So this is a fairly new vessel. It was built in China. Cargo capacity, 39,000 tons. And right now it's fully loaded with salt that it'll be unloading. Five hold, 17 hatches, one controllable pitch propeller, one rudder, one diesel engine pushing out about 11,000 horsepower. Owned and operated by Algoma Central Corporation based out of Canada. You can really tell that this ship is a worker. You can see the scuffs, the scrapes, but I love that Algoma Corporation logo right there on the side of the bow. I've always loved the color scheme on these vessels. <laughs> Looks like we got a single salute today. Now keep your eye on deck. You can see there's at least one person right there with the hard hat that is working on deck. Take a look at those dual anchors. And it's definitely sitting low in the water, as you can see. Give you a shot of that equipment on top of the bow. And there it is going under the area lift bridge. It's moving slow. And you can imagine why the captain had to make that maneuver. That captain wanted to make sure things were right the second time through, so no point to rush it. Keeping this big ship moving slow as it will make its turn into the harbor basin. Better shot of the superstructure. And you can see there on the side, the Equinex class ship. That just means that this is built for more of an environmentally friendly sustainability type of approach. Here's a full look. That big boom as it goes towards the fog there in the harbor basin. It's moving slow, so I can zoom in on a few different objects on deck. Really impressive superstructure. You can see the stacks there in the very top next to the company logo. You have that lifeboat that is propped down. Well, boat friends, if you enjoyed this shipping video, please hit that like button. It makes a big difference. People that enjoy the ships like you and I will find the channel. And also, it doesn't cost you anything. Hit the subscribe button. Let's become boat friends. Let's make it official. Join the community. And if you're interested in some boat friends merchandise, go to vibewithmike.com. As always, thank you so much for watching these videos. I'll be out here with the next vessel. If you're interested in additional videos, here's a few to choose from.